What's going on? We back. It's the Boxing Clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. We grinding. And, um, you know, you read the title. I believe champions, you know, don't deserve a tune up. If you were a real champion, a real championship belt, I'm not talking about end time, a regular champion, WBA champion, WBC, Super WBA champion, WBO, IBF champion, I believe that they should pass this. They should pass this whatever law or rule, whatever it is, you should not be able to fight anybody outside the top five of of a sanctioned bell body. You know, legitimately, if you hold the WBA title, you shouldn't be able to fight nobody outside of the, the top five of the WBA title, the top five of the WBO. They, they whatever whoever you fighting, they better be ranked inside the top five legitimately, not paid to get ranked. You know what I'm saying? You should have to fight all top five contenders, even in your voluntaries. Even when you volunteer, you know, voluntarily, you get it, you know, voluntary, you can fight whoever you want to fight. Basically, if you fight somebody outside the top five, you should have to get an exception from the sanctioned bell body you, you holding. That should be a real, real rule, man. If you a champion, you should not fight outside the top five. Forget the top 10, top 15. Because if they was playing fair with these with these, with these rankings, I'd be like, all right, the top 10, that's cool. But no, it's a lot of guys that got ranked in the top five. Five in the top five too, but in the top ten and fifteen that didn't that don't belong. Like Danny O'Connor, the boxing guys, you know, was was telling Jose Ramirez, "We know you duck progress. He was ducking Taylor. No, you ain't fighting no Danny O'Connor. Danny O'Connor wasn't ranked inside the top fifteen. He got paid to be ranked. When Curtis Stevenson fought Gennady Golovkin, he wasn't the top fifteen fight. He had just came down from super middleweight and coming came off a win versus Derek Finley at his first middleweight fight or coming back." And, and he, he, no, he didn't deserve that. You know, that's why I say the top five. If they not a top five contender in any of the spots, the other sanction belt bodies, you should not be able to fight them. And I'm just saying, if you like, for for example, you, if you the super WBA champion, you feel me? You know, all right, you only can fight the regular WBA champion or the other or 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 the top five that's in the WBA sanction belt bodies. You also if you want to do your voluntary, you also can fight anybody in the top five of the WBO, the IBF, or the WBC championship belt. You know, that should be a legitimate rule. No more champions tuning up and bum bashing and contender picking who they want to fight in the top 10 or the top 15. If you're a champion and, 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 and you want to, and you really want to represent our, our sanctioned belt body, you got to fight a contender in the top five, you know, or a regular WBA champion. Or interim champion, you know, or something like that. Seriously, this should be a, a factual rule. This should be a real rule. You know, I know. I mean, how can people disagree with this? It shouldn't be a disagreement because these guys are only fighting two times a year. And if you want to fight somebody outside the top five, you got to get an exception. Even for a volunteer, you got to get an exception. It better be a goddamn good reason why, and it better bring a lot of money for them to grant you an exception. A lot of money, you know, and I think I think that's a great rule, man. I need to get that to somebody, man. You know that this is an excellent rule in my opinion. Of course, as I thought about it, it's an excellent rule, but you know. And uh, I want to get into the second part of the video. You know, for all these dudes, you know, out here, I talked to live stream the other day. These boxing guys out here, okay, that's talking, you know, that that, that want to tune up and, and and they content with making one or two million, and they don't really want to. You know, step it up and, and and fight somebody else. Look here, man. If you contend with making one or two million dollars, man, I can't tell. I mean, you know, if you contend with that, that's fine. But when you see guys like Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, Conor McGregor walk into boxing and make a hundred million or two hundred million dollars for a fight, that should always be motivation for you want to continue to fight the best. Always, because one thing you got to know about being a champion: at some point, you're gonna become bigger than the belt. That's a fact. At some point, if you continue to fight the best and you really become popular and, and, and you really become a pay-per-view star, and which that should be the goal. And by being a pay-per-view star, you got to lay the groundwork and fight and fight all the top guys. You know, not just bum bash and tune up fight once or twice a year. You got to consistently be in the rotation. Three, four fights a year, fighting really, really good competition, unifying and fighting any and everybody. If you believe you're the best, you say you're the best. When you hit the bag, your trainer, your daddy say you're the best. Well, go out there and prove it because once you become bigger than the belt, ain't no damn mandatories no more. Last time you heard Floyd fucking Mayweather had a mandatory when he was fighting. When last time you heard Manny Pacquiao have a mandatory when he was active? 
when he was at the top of his game or close to the top of the game. Last time you heard Miguel Cotto have a mandatory. You know, seriously, when the last time you heard a real superstar in the sport of boxing have a mandatory? You don't hear it that often. Because them sanctioned bell bodies love the money. And when the money coming in at 2 or 3% of 100 million, 30, 40 million, you don't hear no mandatory. Mandatories just go away. So let that be your motivation out there as a fighter. If you still getting ordered to fight mandatories on a regular basis, you know what I'm saying? You you ain't big enough. You ain't a star yet. If you still fighting on regular Showtime and regular HBO, you ain't a star yet. If your check still saying one five hundred k, one two three million, four million, you ain't a big enough star yet. And when you become a big enough star and you start bringing 10, 20, 30, 40 million to the table, them sanction bell bodies going to turn, turn, turn their other cheek and turn their eye on that shit, man. And not going to say nothing about a mandatory. You know what I'm saying? They're going to keep taking your little 2 or 3% and they're going to be happy because that's going to be the biggest bag they get. So let that be motivation, man. So when you get to that status, you know, when they ain't order no mandatory, then you know you made it. Then you can cherry pick and fight whoever you want to fight. You can cherry pick an MMA and you can make $100, $200 million. That's how you know you really made it as a boxer, man. You know, if you still out here, you know, making $1 or $2 million and you fighting Rios, imagine if you was a pay-per-view star, you could pull Rios out of, out of the garbage can with Oscar the Grouch and have a bum bash and still bring in $20 million. Still do a million pay-per-view. That should be the goal. A lot of these guys are content with $1 and $2 million and $1 million paydays and stuff of that nature. Don't be content with that. Whatever they give you on the back end. If you want, yo, if you, if Floyd Mayweather making a hundred million, two hundred million dollars, and Pacquiao and Conor McGregor making all that money don't motivate you, then at this point, at, at point in the game, it's time for you to retire, man. But it's the boxing clinic, and more appreciate you guys for listening. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the bell icon button, so you know we go live with that heat and drop that heat. And uh, we still pumping videos, man. It's the last boxing video for sure, the last of the last, last of Mohicans. Don't forget, got a new college sports page for college sports fans, uh, basketball and football. Um, the links in the description, S1210 College Sports Most Wanted. I appreciate everybody for coming through. We on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the Boston Clinic. Check the links in the description. You always catch my articles and sources there. Never no fake news. If I say it's a rumor, it's just a rumor. And uh, if you got want to do a video collab or business venture, my business email is there for business use only. Y'all know what it is. Share the videos, man. Most definitely appreciate it. We gone.